Hey what's going on guys, today I'll be showing you how to install Infinity via iMac and this will work for the PSP 1000, 2000, 3000 and finally the PSP Street. As you can see I'm running very old firmware on this beautiful PSP 1000 uh, version 5.03. Let's begin by plugging in our USB cable to our iMac and make sure you have a fully charged battery before you begin this process. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your PSP. You're doing this at your own risk, but please follow all the steps carefully. So the first thing we got to do is update our PSP to either 6.60 or 6.61 and then after that we're going to install either Pro or ME custom firmware. In this guide I'll be installing 6.60 and custom firmware Pro. Once in USB mode, you should see your PSP drive on the desktop of your iMac. You can double click on your PSP drive to get it ready for the updates. First thing we're going to download and install is called the Unarchiver and this is a great app that will open any type of archive file in seconds. Very easy to install, just download. Once it's finished, double click on the downloaded file and just move the new app into your app folder. All the links will be provided in the description below. Next up we're going to download the official firmware 6.60 and on the right side under views you'll see your download options and you want to click on zip. Once it's finished downloading you want to find that zip file and move it onto your desktop. Next you want to use the third link in the description below and I'll take you to walolo.net and we're now going to download the custom firmware Pro C2 and we want to use the download link from Mediafire.com this link will take you to Mediafire.com and you want to click on download once it's finished downloading you want to find that file again and move it onto your desktop And finally, we're going to download Infinity 2.0 using the last link in the description. And you want to scroll all the way down to Downloads and click on Infinity 2.0. Once it's done downloading, you can locate the file and move it onto your desktop. Now we can begin extracting all the files. All you have to do is just double click on the zip file and a new folder will appear. For the 6.60 official firmware, a folder called 660 will appear. For 6.60 Pro, you will see 660 Pro-C. And finally, for Infinity, we will see a new folder called Infinity-2.0.3. Once all three folders are finished, you can dump the three zip files. Alright, now we can open up the official firmware folder, which is called 660. You want to go into the PSP folder, then into game, and now we go onto our PSP drive and open up PSP, go to game, and then we can copy that update folder onto the PSP game folder. After that's done copying, we can go into our Pro C folder, and you want to click into PSP, go into game, and then those three folders you want to copy into the PSP Drive game folder. After those files are done copying, we can now disconnect from USB mode and go onto our console and finish some updates there. Let's now head on over to game and go into your memory stick. And from there you should see four new files. And the one you want to start first is the official firmware 6.60. Press X to begin the update and you just want to follow the instructions by agreeing to the user agreements and once you go through that the update should start and it should take about like two to five minutes. Once the update is finished you want to press X to restart the system. Once it's fully restarted, we want to go check into our system information to make sure that 6.60 was 
officially installed. After you confirm that 6.60 was successfully installed, we now want to go back into our game and memory stick and run the pro update. The update should load up with a very small menu on the upper left hand corner and you want to press X to install the custom firmware. Once it's done you want to press X again to restart your system. Once it's done restarting, we want to go into our system information to double check that 6.60 Pro C was successfully installed. A cool little trick to see if you have custom firmware is by pressing select and that will bring up the VSH menu. Let's go back to our iMac and connect our PSP via USB cable. Let's open up our PSP drive by double clicking on it, go into your PSP folder, go into game folder, and finally go into your update folder. Right click on the eboot.pbp and move to trash. Open up the infinity-2.0.3 folder, go into the standard folder and copy that eboot.pbp onto your update PSP folder. Now we can disconnect from USB mode and go on to the final step of this process. All right, now moving back onto our PSP device. Let's get out of USB mode, disconnect our cable. And now we're gonna go to our memory stick and we're gonna run Infinity 2. There we go. There it is, Infinity version 2.0.3. Press X to install Infinity. Installation complete, press X to reboot. All right, so now that we are rebooted, we can go double check. And our MAC address is gonna show because we still have a few steps to look at. So here's version 6.60, and I'm covering my MAC address because we still have a few steps to go to fully have the permanent custom firmware. So. We're going to go back into Infinity 2. Okay, so here we are at home. Welcome to Infinity. Now we're going to press the left button and installed modules. So we have Pro Custom Firmware installed. So we're going to press X and then we're going to press home and exit and that's about it. Okay, so it restarted, but it's not going to go through all the way, unfortunately. So if I press select, there's no menu. I already know that it's not loaded into uh, custom firmware. So what we're gonna have to do is hard reset it by holding up the power button. And 
And now we can power it back on. There we go. Alright, so here we are. Now I'm going to press select. And there it is. There's our VSH menu Pro VSH menu. Now we can go take a look at the system settings. And there we go. We have Pro C Infinity permanently installed onto your PSP. And that is how you do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please comment down below. And as far as these go, you can delete these three files, you don't need them, but I would definitely keep Infinity 2 just in case. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.